What's up, YouTube fam? This is your boy D-Light. They're yeah, coming to y'all with a quick video. Just want to let y'all know that um, I'm going to be out probably about a week or so. Mm-hmm. Just got to take a break. Take a mental break from social media for a minute. And um, chill out. You know, like I said, I got real life, um, hey, dealing with it, I got, hey, work schedule, and, and um, you know, family and everything, and like I said, spiritual purposes, I know definitely, I take it off, like, you know, just get my mind clear from it. You know, just relax, chill, meditate on the word of God, prayer, and come back. So, whatever the Lord say, I can give it to you. Because, like I said, I'm moving on obedience to Him, not myself. I just want to let y'all know I love you all. And I thank God truly for all of you. All of you that supported me. All of you that are my YouTube family. You know, y'all know who y'all are. You know, can't say it enough. Y'all my YouTube family. Family. Love y'all to life. With the love of Jesus Christ. Well, that's ours right there. But, uh, love y'all. I mean, I'm telling you, love you life. And then to those who, like I said, spectators or or people that you sometimes support or sometimes did or whatever, you know, we all got busy schedules. And uh, like I said, we got to take time out from social media sometimes. And then just take a break and replenish our spirit, man. So then God can build us up the brain. Cause you know, right now I've been like focusing on soul salvation, the word of God, strictly the word of God. You know, I give the word, you know, I have a balance, but the days and times we living in, people need to hear the truth. Some people ain't gonna like the truth some subscribers may be lost, but hey, I can't care about that because I got to be real and come with the word and what the word is. I ain't going to be like these mega preachers that want to dance around the truth because they're afraid of losing their money and everything. I ain't got nothing to lose if I got, you know, hey, compromise my faith. Oh, no. Not for that. Oh, no. I'd rather dwell in the house of the Lord than to sit in the... What was that? What was that? I'd rather dwell as a doorkeeper than to sit him on the tent of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people, they want just to compromise. And I don't like, you know, dogging down or tearing down other ministries because... But that's between them and God. And God's going to reveal. And he is doing a great unveiling. He's doing a great unveiling. Over these ministries. These big mega star ministries. I'm not hating on them or nothing. I'm just saying. Too many of them is dancing around the truth. Too many of them don't want to face the truth because of the money they lose. But guess what? When it comes to them and when they face God, I don't want to hear him say, turn away from me, you that work iniquity. I never knew you. I did a teaching on that. I did a teaching on that. Um, you know, and it was basically a test it for church leaders. I did a teaching on that a couple of weeks ago from Matthew chapter 7. 
when talking about what was that when they said that did I do many wondrous works in thy name or did I cast out devils in thy name or did I you know did my, many you know, did I um, you know did many wondrous works in thy name and then when Jesus turned around told me he said told them he said turn away from me ye that work iniquity for I never knew you. I don't want to hear him say, I never knew you. Just because of my flesh and me trying to please people. No, can't please no people. Can't please everybody. That's a life period. You can't please everybody. You cannot please everybody. The thing is, you got to be obedient to the Lord. Be obedient. Because guess what? Obedience is better than sacrifice. At any time, I would rather be obedient to the Lord. And be persecuted for his name's sake. Then, you know, compromise with man and then face Lord and tell, you know, and he said, didn't I tell you to teach this? Uh, you know, I'm not going to be thank you. People don't want to let folks over. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't want to hear him tell, I want to hear him say, well done. Thy good and faithful servant little coconut cookie lightweight you know mommy gave these those to me <laughs> my mom gave me those there just dropped my son off over there because I know he's got to go to work but um she always have a little snacks for me so <laughs> thank you mom uh, okay but that being said, um, like I said, I'm just going to take a break to, like I said, see what the Lord, you know, what he wants me to do, how he wants me to do it. Because there's other things in real life I have to deal with. Um, you know, I have to fast, pray, because of the fact that, you know, um, there's people that I know need deliverance. As a teacher, I see students that need deliverance. I have to be ready and be in intact for them. That's my assignment right now. Because when these children are talking about they're hearing voices in their head and hearing things telling them to do this and that, no, that's spiritual warfare. And that calls for fasting and praying and that thing happened to be cast out of them. That there, is the spiritual warfare is real. It's real, very much real. And um, you don't know, I'm telling you. Some people, sometimes you see people acting crazy. It's not them. The Bible says we wrestle knives against flesh and blood. And that's what I constantly keep saying. Keep giving that scripture. We wrestle not against the flesh and blood but against principalities, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I keep saying that. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not people. It's demonic forces that's behind folks. It's demonic forces that, you know, it was on that. And like I said, like I said, this one particular um, student and this was a baby, somebody in the third grade would retaliate and act out and say, you know, they had keep hearing voices and keep, you know, down in themselves and say, I can't help this. I can't help that. That's when we got to take authority, authority, authority. We got to take authority over that. That's warfare. So. Like I said, y'all keep continue to pray for me. And I'm going to pray for y'all as well. But like I said, I got to do my time off. 
you know, I got to, um, for, just for a minute, I'll probably be like maybe a week or so, depending on what the Lord say. I'm just going to give it like that. But uh, love you all. And like I said, you know, I'm just going to, like I said, be straightforward with the truth when it comes to biblical. I'm encouraging. I don't mind. I love encouragement. I love people. I love to give out encouragement. But it's time for us to know, the, 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 you know, for us to focus on the truth. Time for us to focus on the God honest truth, the biblical truth, the word of God. The word that's sharper than any two-edged sword. The one that's going to pierce and cut and prune and make you and grow you up. That type of word. See, we too many of us want to hear feel-good words, but not every word is a feel-good word. It's not. So... You know, it's not beating the sheep, but it's just giving you the God honest the truth to help you get over. That's why I want to do a series, and I'm praying on that, a series on the seven churches of Asia Minor. And I said I was going to do that soon, whenever the Lord permits me to. The seven churches of Asia Minor. And like I said, out of all seven of those churches that he warned, only one or two of them had no fault out of seven. So, which church are we going to be representing? That's something I'm going to say because each of us represent each one of those churches. Whether what flaws it is, and it's going to be maybe a week series or something. I'm going to do each church, a video for each church. And I might just even, um, I don't know, I might even do like a little revival laugh thing. I don't know. I might have... Um, or either ask some of my, uh, you know, my um, prayer warrior friends, if they can, um, they want to take a topic on one of the churches. Um, like I said, I can start it off with the Church of Ephesus. And, uh, you know, somebody can take on the next church and the next church. We'll see how, you know, we'll do that, how the Lord lead me to do that. Um or either I just do it myself, you know. You know, depending on what, like I said, what the Lord lead me to do. Because uh, that would be a cool thing, just to have like a little revival and have each one come on live, you know. Do a live at a certain time. And just have them come on, you know. And just bring forth the word of truth. Mm-hmm. Because it's time. The time is now. The time is now. We're living in a crucial time. We're living in a crucial time where no man know the day nor the hour when Jesus is coming. We don't know. So we just got to get our hearts right. And that's it. All right. With that being said, this is your boy D. Talk to you later. Love you. Peace.